there, this is Ariel Ferrar here, and I'm here today to explain to you how you can jump right into using the fabulous information and resource tool Zotero. I'm trying to make these videos as quick and to the point as possible, but there's a couple things I want to go over first. Firstly, who's this video for? This video is for students, teachers, scholars, writers, and anyone else who wants to easily manage their citations as well as bookmarks with this free downloadable software and an excellent software it is in fact this is software not a website a lot of us have played around with websites that allow you to take bibliographic information that you yourself have found and put it into the website and have it spit out the properly formatted information Zotero makes it much easier than this though it actually extracts the bibliographic information from the website and then spits it back out uh, okay here's a quick screenshot of Zotero once you've downloaded Zotero and restarted Firefox, Zotero will appear in the bottom right hand corner down here. To open it, click it, and mine has opened into full screen mode. If you want to make it half screen mode, you do this, but it's much easier to view in full screen mode, for me at least. So in this video, you're going to learn how to draw citations from all over the web, put them in Zotero, and then create a bibliography in a Word or OpenOffice document. Tagging and more bookmark friendly aspects of this tool will be gone over in the next video. This video is for simple Zotero citations only. Future videos will cover more complex situations that may arise. These videos are intended to be supplementary to the videos on the Zotero website. They, those are packed with a lot of great information, but I felt like they made it really confusing for the viewer how to actually go about performing simple tasks with Zotero. Anyway, back to the, you know, information stuff. In the middle is where your citations will go. Once you have them, I already have them. You will in a minute. Uh, that is our first exercise. Over here on the right is the information that has been extracted about the web page or media. You can take notes on it here, tag it here, which is very important, and is the content of our next video, and link it to related information here. So this is all taking place on the right. On the left is the organization, and we'll talk more about that in just a minute. So there's a long list of websites that are already compatible with the bibliographic information extraction capability of Zotero. A couple of the common ones are JSTOR, New York Times, Google Books, Google Scholar, YouTube, Wikipedia, Amazon. To learn as quickly as possible how this capability works, though, I want you to go ahead and pick a topic. I chose Kurt Vonnegut. Maybe you'll pick Ducks or education or Iran. Whatever the topic is that you're interested in, go ahead and open up a handful, five uh, pages on this topic. I've picked JSTOR, New York Times, YouTube, Wikipedia, and Amazon. So go ahead, pause the video, and open up these tabs. So I have my five tabs open here, and once you've downloaded Zotero and you're visiting a website that is Zotero capable, an icon will appear here in the launch bar. For Wikipedia, it's either a folder or an open book. For Amazon, it's a closed book here. Uh, for YouTube, it's a film reel. For New York Times, it's a newspaper. For JSTOR, it's a document. And there are a variety of these. But you'll know it's one of them because when you run your mouse over it, this will show up here. Save to Zotero. And you can go ahead and click that icon, and then down in the bottom, it'll save it, and you'll know that it's saving it, because it'll say so. So we're going to go ahead and do that with our websites. And when we go to the Wikipedia page, this pops up. So if it had been the open book icon as opposed to the folder icon, you could have just clicked on that, and it would, would have saved the entire page. But as it stands, these are some of the references available at the bottom of the page. So maybe we want to select all of them, or maybe just some of them. For now, we'll select all of them, and of course it saves them all here. If, for example, we want to save a specific citation, like this one down here, we have to go ahead and add that manually, which will be gone over in a future video. So now that we've learned how to add citations, we're going to learn how to manage them, and then we're going to make a bibliography. So now go down to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen and click on Zotero to open it up. 
and we're going to open it into full mode. Now my citations are at the bottom, but yours will be your only citations there at the top. What we're going to do is we're going to create a folder with this button here, and my citations are Vonnegut citations, so I'm going to name the file Vonnegut, but you should probably go ahead and name it Ducks or Iran or whatever you've chosen. Now we're going to go back to my library and take all of our Vonnegut or Iran or Duck citations and put them in the Vonnegut file. On to the making of a bibliography part. So to create a bibliography out of all of your citations, go ahead and right click or control click the file with all your citations in it and create bibliography from collection. I like MLA but there's a whole bunch of things to choose from here and then make sure to select copy to clipboard. It should be noted that this can also be done with individual citations here. Citations can then be pasted in an open office document or a word document or pretty much anywhere on the web. Alright so this concludes the first video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to contact me with any questions or comments or ideas for more videos. I appreciate it. Thanks. And stay tuned for the next video on tagging.